All right, so I got a little story for you. So it was my freshman year at UCLA. The season was done. Made freshman All-American, had like five or six picks. Was one of the only freshmen that had like a car on the team. So the coaches would always give me the number one recruit, right? Whoever came in, I would be their host. I was supposed to be the closer, right? So this particular weekend, it was a Friday. You start off the, the visit by uh, going to Lowry's with your recruit. All you can eat, all you can eat at Lowry's, right up, right down there on the, on La Cienega, right? So then after that, the, the player goes back to the hotel over in Century City. You go back to your apartment and then you guys meet up and then the night begins, right? So this, this night had all you can eat. Uh, then I go back to the apartment with uh, Jabril Ramo, my boy, my boy Jabril Ramo, one of the top safeties in, in the U.S., come out of high school. So we get back to UCLA, and we decide that it's a good idea to go ahead and spark up. So we get lit, and then we have to drive all the way to Century City from Westwood, right? So my whole focus was just, you know, keep everything nice and easy, don't run any lights, don't do anything stupid. We gotta get to the hotel, pick up the recruits, and go to the party, right? So, drive across town, pull up on Avenue of the Stars. I'm high as shit. Two recruits come out, jump in the car. Hey, it's time to go. Probably had a jagged edge plan. Hey, where the party at? Weez is on the way, where that Bacardi at? Oh, we about to turn all the way up. So we get to the party, man, it's slamming, it's going, it's going hard, right? People sweating out their outfits. It's going hard, hard. So the night ends, take the recruits back to the hotel, go to sleep in the morning, wake up, have some breakfast. And then you gotta go up to UCLA to watch the basketball game. So get to the basketball game, walk in, slapping five, shaking hands, kissing babies. Everything is all good, right? So I go walking up the stairs and I see my DB coach looking at me and his head was shaking like it was Mookie Butts' uh, bobblehead night at Dodger Stadium. Just like this. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with Coach Snow? His head only shook when something was wrong, right? So I'm like, hey, what's up, coach? What's up, JP? Jerry Page. Uh, sit down next to coach, and he leans in real close to me, and he says, did you leave the number five safety in America at his hotel last night? And I'm like, no. I picked up the two recruits, and we went to the party, and I took them back home. We had a great time. He said, you left the number five safety in the country at the hotel last night, and he hung out with his brother. You didn't take him. Oh no, oh no. I'm sitting there and I'm like, my whole thought process was I had to get two recruits in the car and we had to go. Bruh, I left this man at the hotel on his official recruiting trip. So I was like, coach, I got this, I got this, man. Don't don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So I go over and I sit next to JP and I'm talking to him and I'm like, hey bro, I'm so sorry, man. I didn't mean to leave you, bro. I don't know what happened. I really need you to come to UCLA right now. I need you to commit, bro. Because if you don't, I'm really not sure what's gonna happen. And the whole time I'm talking to him, you know when you're sitting at somebody's house and they got a big ass dog, and when the owner leaves the room, the dog is still looking at you. Like, I dare you to make a move. I dare you to make a move, but you're not trying to make no eye contact. Just have them, them eyes just staring at you. That was Coach Snow. Oh, he was on 10. So I told JP, I was like, bro, whatever we gotta do, bro. I was like, I need you to come. He was like, man, don't even trip. I didn't go to parties. I don't. I don't drink. I don't do any of that stuff. I like hanging out with my brother anyway. He's like, I'm coming. So, 
I went over, I told Coach Snow, I was like, hey, he's coming. Coach Snow, no response. He was like, I'm gonna see you on Sunday. So JP leaves off after his uh, his trip. I remember calling him and saying, bro, are you really gonna commit, man? Are you really gonna commit? He told me he promised he was gonna commit. Coach Snow made me roll every morning at 5.30 in the morning in a in freezing cold, man. I mean, the freezing cold on that poly, on that uh, that grass over at the practice facility until Jerry committed. And I'm still grateful to Jerry to this day because if he hadn't committed, I would still, to this day, 18 years later, still be rolling over on Spalding Field. Oh, bruh. Literally the worst day. Worst day of my life, life right there.